Today I have two VIP pitch side experiences at two French clubs in Ligue 1, PSG and Strasbourg. I will be watching football in the most beautiful cities in France whilst also showing you exclusive access. Welcome to France A. Eh? This is going to be a big, big, big experience. First up, I got greeted to a PSG shirt with my name on in my room. So we may be going to Strasbourg tonight. We're going on a city tour very, very soon today. But yesterday we went to PSG pitch side and this is what went on. It is going to be hard to top Paris. The Eiffel Tower, but nevertheless, Strasbourg, the Christmas market. Everything about Strasbourg, I've heard very positively. Pitch side at PSG, Strasbourg as well. We have got two VIP experiences. And this is one of them. For any football fan, this is a dream come true. Literally just this close away from the pitch. It's not a bad way to spend your Friday evening, is it? Isn't it crazy that we've gone from the likes of Sutton, Forest Green, every club like that in England, to pitch side here with access at PSG. Donna Ruma is literally just here, five meters away from me. It's given me major flashbacks uh, from a Euro final, but we don't talk about that. Look how close we are to them, man. Look at the seat we've got here as well, the view in store. PSG versus Monaco. Come on then. I am butter for this one, I'll tell you that now. The players were out, the TIFOs were out, it was incredible. I have just watched the PSG win 5-2 versus Monaco. So yeah, just a pitch side experience, being 5 metres away from Donnarumma, 10 metres away from Mbappe, and they won 5-2. But this is what we have lined up today. But first of all, it's the city tour, so let's see what that's all about. Well, this ain't a bad way to start in the morning, is it? Look at the building behind me, the gardens in front of it, the steps up, it looks gorgeous. And talking about the steps, I think we're going up as well. It's going to be top class looking at both the sceneries of here and Strasbourg as well the Christmas markets tomorrow it's gonna to be class the view from up here as well really shows why this is the heart of the city but I'll tell you what I am not fit enough to walk up all of these stairs there's so many of it I'll tell you what it's definitely worth it though it's worth the pain Look at this, it's 8.30 in the morning, you've got views like this to look at. Look at how many locks there are as well on all the railings down here. Look how many. Supposedly it brings you good luck, so um, you should really get one. This city just never disappoints. This is one of the most famous, if not the most famous in Paris in terms of bridges. And you've got the Eiffel Tower here. Honestly, this city is so stunning. It's great to have a look around it before Strasbourg. You honestly do not realise how beautiful this city is until you're actually here experiencing it yourself. Everything around here is just stunning from down here, Eiffel Tower, the bridge itself. It's so class, it's so class. I love this city. We are back from the tour. It was really good. I really enjoyed my time there. And I'll tell you what, last night as well, PSG, we got a shirt, we've got the lanyard, we've got everything to literally remember last night as well, which was fantastic. It was then time to travel to Strasbourg where we took a two hour first class train directly to the city. Here we go then. We've arrived in Strasbourg. Here we go. I'm excited for this one tonight. This is my first time in this city. And we all know how I like to take off my ground. So tonight is going to be a special one. I don't know if I'm in France or Netherlands right now because look at the amount of bikes there are around here. First impressions though. Yeah. All right. I'll take it. There's a bus to Rotterdam, like a normal local bus. I didn't realize Rotterdam is close to Strasbourg. And it turns out there's another place called Rotterdam. But I must say, I've been walking around for five minutes now. Very, very impressed. We are absolutely laughing. Absolutely laughing today. Thank you. Here we go. A little room tour. 154. First time seeing this. If you want to go in, there we go. Oh my. Oh, you are taking the piss. You're taking the piss. You've even got a, you've even got a scarf as well. Oh, hello. I love France. I love France. I love this place. I love it. It's not even just about the shirt and all this. The room is fantastic. I've got my own sofa. I've got a table here. Nah, nah, this is a joke. Absolute joke. League Un, TNT Sports, you have hooked me up massively. What do I even say to this anymore? This is unbelievable. What a trip this has been. That's all I can say. And we've still got the game tonight. Strasbourg versus Marseille. It's going to be huge. The fans are so passionate. Everything is Strasbourg right here. I'm fascinated about the little things here but look at this this is absolutely phenomenal though but the one thing this city is majorly famous for is the christmas market so here's a few clips from the day welcome to the city center of strasbourg i'll tell you what the christmas market is right behind me it's 11 in the morning the architecture and buildings around here is absolutely stunning There's a lot of different markets as well, so this is another one just over these heads here. But I can imagine all of these lights going across the city will just be so spectacular at night, and we're going to be seeing that later. This place is absolutely gorgeous, and you've got the cathedral up here as well. Genuinely, been walking around for about 20 minutes, and I think this is one of the best cities I've been to. Look how big this cathedral is, by the way. This is flipping huge. Yeah, big fan of this. We're going around to a lot of cities, but this is the one which is 
shined out to me a lot differently than others before. We're even at the side now. Look at the detail on this. This is a little bit of a joke, isn't it? Look at where we are here. This is absolutely stunning. I see why the Christmas markets are so famous in Strasbourg. Time has passed and I've got hot white wine. It's so good. And in the dark as well, these markets just shine out with a cathedral in the back. Just that extra bit better when you're in the dark with the lights are shining on you. It's crazy, I'm loving it. And this hot wine, fantastic. It's got that cinnamon feel to it. A lot more flavor, like it. The scarf is on, we are match ready. Right, let's do this. Here we go then, round two, collecting our lanyards. I could tell this is gonna be a good one too. Man, this is the stadium, look at that. From the outside. Do you know what, it reminds me of PSG a little bit. Because of the concrete design. I like it, I like it a lot. You got band bars area around here. Yeah, big fan of the stadium though. Sheesh, here we go, here we go. Look, entrance to the pitch here. This lanyard, there's a crazy, crazy thing I'm telling you. Oh my God, look at this stadium. Yeah, big, big, big fan. Look at that, look at that. You can tell just by the safe standing here that this would be where the ultras of Strasbourg would be. The away fans in this corner here. The stadium is feels so on top of it as well. Like it. Big, big fan, man. Safe standing around here. So old school. I'm liking it a lot here. Proper old school stadium. Come on. Come on. Just pretend I'm a player. Eh? This is the walkway. Look at that. That would be the walkway. That is some entrance, you know. Left, right. Proper football stadium. Match ball tonight. Touch of luck, that. Touch of luck. And this is the home dressing room. Come on, man. Come on. Hello, Brent. Nice to meet you. Wow. Wow. Quite a small locker room, but it's cosy. I'm always a fan of what boots they wear as well. Oh. Ooh, I've always been a night fan. I like this a lot, I like it a lot. All right, they've got their own swimming pool then. Just in case I want to dip. Look at the scan we've got on show today, pizza. Oh. Do you not mind if I do? They're just slapping more and more pizza down. Oh, yes, please. Yes, please. And we've got a beer as well. <laughs> I'm not complaining. I cannot believe what we've got on show here. Look at this. And the beer as well. That's a this is the fan zone here at Strasbourg. Such a family feel about it. We've eaten, we've had a beer, but now it's time to go What's kickside up? and have the proper experience. Here we go. Yeah, we are back. Come on! The stadium feels a lot more like what I've seen at England as well. This is incredible. The Strasbourg right in here, the away section here. Apparently it's only 100 fans. Honestly, this is just exceptional. Cannot wait until this game kicks off because this is going to be something special. Can you believe that the channel has come to this, man? This is ridiculous. Look at this guy go, man. Look at this guy go. He's just showing off now. What's, what's going on? I can already tell that the atmosphere here is going to be electric. Suppose it's one of the most well-supported clubs in Ligue 1 as well, so I'm excited for this one. We all know that the Marseille fans are absolutely crazy as well. On a Saturday night, anything can happen. Come on. Eh? It's just a warm-up. And they're already so, so loud. It is going to be one passionate atmosphere tonight. All the hands are up in the stands. I'm waiting for a chant here. I'm waiting for something. I'm waiting for something involved in the atmosphere here. Must be there we go. That's what I'm waiting for. I want you guys to comment down below. What you rate this stadium out of 10? For me, it's a very well connected stadium. Really good fan base. It feels a lot like an English stadium. Millwall rings a bell when it comes to looking at this stand. It's not possible if it wasn't for TNT Sports and League Un Uber Eats. They cover seven live matches every single week in UK and Ireland, so make sure you click the link down below and watch this football. It's phenomenal. The experience here is great. And look at it. We're ready for the football now. I don't want to leave pitch side, but we've got to go through now. Get our seat and watch the football. It's time. What an experience as a team. And this is where we're situated today. Look, we're right next to the away fans. This view is insane, man. Look at that. I cannot believe the away fans are just here, by the way. So, so cold. I think it's like minus one degrees, zero degrees, so. What's going on here then? I think the less said about it, the better. We've got white and blue flags waving all around here. It looks really good, to be honest. I know what you're saying, but the atmosphere today is going to be so good. I can't tell. Being next to these load of nutters is just going to be crazy. Why is it playing it's coming home? What's going on here? Football's coming home. That's the biggest thing. Oh my God, look at the Marseille fans here. Oh my days. 
What's going on? There's too much going on. It's coming over the way end. You got pyros in the away end, pyros in the home end. There's too much going on here. Nah, this is just crazy. Three lights on a shirt. Chills from me, still gleaming. Look, the pyros here, you got a banner here. The players are out. I cannot wait for this game to kick off. I just cannot believe the game is coming out. Can I just say, these guys are absolute nutters. How have they got their shirts off? I'm absolutely freezing. And these guys have got their shirts off. Nah, nah, what's going on? Even here, even I've got fireworks going off. There is too much going on for my liking. And we have kicked off. Oh, Stanley Cooper, still got it. Oh, oh my God. Oh, what a goal. Oh, 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 they're still singing though, to be fair to them. The whistles are being belted out by the Strasbourg fans as Marseille have got a corner. I can't tell if that orange scarf is a Marseille one. Now, why would you be in the home end for this sort of game? I'm not even going to lie, these Marseille fans have not stopped singing since the game's been kicked off before the game. And even during the goal, Strasbourg scored, they were still singing. Nothing stopped them. Right, what's going on here then? Because there's been a lot of bangers going off and it's been scaring the shit out of me. There's more flares going up up there. If I hear another one of them bangers, then I might actually kill myself. I just wish we had pyros like this in England, honestly. Oh, look how many fans are on the home end. Well, it's 1-1 one, one here. It's a really sweet volley, actually. Off the post and in. It's 1-1, one, one, game on. And they're dancing around like it's nothing. Pyro is out once again. I'm sure there's about 100 fans in there. <laughs> Have they got a pyro each or something? We've even got the fans waving their scarves around now. Making me want to do mine as well. Although it's really warm around my neck right now, so I'm not going to be doing that. It's half time here. It's 1 1. It's been a great game, a great atmosphere. So apparently, Le Marche. We can actually go in there and have something to eat and drink or something. Mate, you got beers? You got hot dogs? You got everything? What's going on here then? What's going on? What? you? I can just pick this up. Oh my god, I'll take that. Right, I'm having another one. This is a little bit different though, so we've got to try this one. Thank you very much. Cheers. We are feasting today. What is this now? I'm going to have to try everything here. I feel like I've just had the quickest free course nil in my life. And we're back out for the second half. Here we go, then let's see what happens. 53 minutes gone. The crowd are on their feet, jumping around. They can create one hell of an atmosphere. We're just trying to know from here. These Marseille fans just do not stop singing. They have not stopped at all. Even at half time, they just don't give themselves a break. Oh, Marseille fans are singing like crazy. 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 Quiet. Really good fan base, really passionate, always get behind the side. They've also sold out in the last 37 league home games, by the way, or home games full stop. So it really shows how loyal these supporters are. But then Marseille fans have just not stopped, and that is the full time whistle. What an experience here, what a great experience, and a great point. What a great time here at Strasbourg, they're fantastic stadium. Fantastic fans, and that's the first time I've heard of Marseille fans. There was a man of the match presentation to conclude, and what an experience this was thanks to TNT Sports and Liga and Uber Eats. Two VIP pit side experiences, two incredible cities. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon.